Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. Today, look who we're with! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> In case you couldn't see the uncanny resemblance, this is my mum. Oh, your older sister. Definitely my mum. <laughs> and today we are going to be asking her some um, maybe slightly awkward, uncomfortable questions. Oh my excited? word. Nervous rather than excited, yes, I think so. It's <laughs> basically questions that you guys have sent that you might be too afraid to ask your mum. This was a massive trend going around on YouTube a long time ago, but I'm just doing it now. But before we get into that, this video is actually sponsored. Oh. Um, by a company that I've worked with many times before. I absolutely love them. They're called Anna Luisa. And they are currently doing their Mother's Day sale. It's well past Mother's Day. In America. Okay. <laughs> I think their Mother's Day is now. So they actually have 15% off site wide. Obviously the link will be in the description. So thank you guys for sponsoring this little part of the video. So I actually have three pieces of jewellery to give you oh. that I chose from their website. That's perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this is a very belated Mother's Day present. Is it actually for me? Yeah, it's actually for you. Oh, thank you. That's very oh, kind. I just hope you like them. I chose these myself. These, they're small, which does mean that I'm more likely to like them. So they come in these cute little velvet Pouch. pouches. As you guys, I, I've talked about them multiple times before. I love them. The quality is brilliant. Do you know, I think I might already have a piece from Anna Louise. Really? Did Auntie Emma buy me my necklace from there? I don't know. Huh? I'll have a look. Maybe they, maybe they did, but they're 100% carbon neutral now. Are they? They are, indeed. That's um, and impressive. the jewellery starts from $39 and then obviously goes up to a lot more if you want the very fine jewellery. The one you've got for me. Yeah, yours are the most expensive on the site, man. Thank right, you. okay, let me see. I don't know which ones are which, but we're just gonna... Actually, you can open them. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna be honest about my feeling. Okay, I'll have them if you don't like them. Ooh, they're very nice. Okay, so guys, just so you can see, I don't know whether you can see, you they are speaking. really pretty, but also they are things I would wear. Yeah, That's well, I, obviously I wanted to choose ones that you would wear. But is that going to be damning of other people wanting to wear them who are younger than me? No, because the point is they're doing Mother's Day sales, so people go and buy them for their mums like you. Oh, wow, then in which case I think they're lovely. I'm just going to put them on so you can see. Oh, okay. They are really pretty. They've got like a sort of diamondy look down the, down the front of it, and then a pretty pearl, and pearls are all in. Oh. I am told. Well, you heard it here first, ladies. I'm pretty sure these are called the Rachel earrings, if anyone is interested. And with the 15% discount, these are £62. Really good. I like that very much. Thanks, Gorge. Okay. You're welcome. And then I got you two necklaces. This is the one that is really cute, but you might want to give it to me if you love me. Oh, it's a heart. Yeah. It's a, it's a Diamante heart. Because I love you. Oh. And this one. Ooh. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, yeah. Very... It's a little bit... A little bit more kind of grown up. Grown up, yeah. So this one's the the V one is called Vida, and that is seventy with the discount. And then the open heart. That one's called. Oh dear, I don't know how to pronounce that. Core. Move have a look. Cuore. 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 And that's sixty five. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Oh, she likes the look of that because it's dangly. Yeah, she wants to play with it. Do you like Grandma's necklace? <laughs> Mum loves what I call her grandma. <laughs> I do not call myself a grandma just yet. You are a grandma. I'm a, I'm Porsche's grandma. Something. I'm Porsche's second mummy. But thank you very much. They're very pretty. We yeah, can share the necklaces. Like them. That's really cool. Thank you so much. I'm very happy. Can we finish now? No, that's <laughs> not. The, that is not the entire. Where video. I have to work for my necklace and my earrings. Exactly. Do I? Now you have to put in the work. <clears throat> So now we're actually going to get into the questions. This might be a slightly less enjoyable, enjoyable section of the video. I'm hoping Porsche rescues me by jumping into this, the frame and distracting everybody. <laughs> okay, let's start with... Was I an accident? No! 100% not. Were any of your kids an accident? No. Don't lie. I'm not lying. You were all hard fought. You wanted four children? Initially... We thought we'd have three. So your and fourth child. Then, and then when we had two, we thought that felt like quite a lot. Oh, so you only wanted two? No, but it was, a, it was quite a lot. Um, and then we persevered. So you doubled it. And we persevered. But we ended up with four beautiful kids. So we were very lucky. 
and actually I really loved being pregnant. Uh, maybe that's weird, I don't know. So I decided to go for it again. I know, it's brilliant, it's, I, I loved it. Being pregnant was fantastic. But the, so none of us, so Francesca was planned. You wanted to have all- We were still trying, how's that? How does that work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know about you trying. So one of your daughters asked which daughter is your, your favourite. <gasps> Ella wrote that. Did she? Yeah. You know the answer to that question. I don't but know. Yeah, but obviously all parents are going to say, I don't have a favourite. But surely your favourite, does it ever, does it, do you go through phases of liking one kid more than the other? No, genuinely, genuinely not. Someone asked a very silly question. <laughs> a very silly question? Considering I'm your child. Oh god. Your biological child. Go on then. They said, is your mum still a virgin? <laughs> Do we look a little bit alike? A little titchy bit? Okay, so what age did you lose your virginity? <gasps> that question. You're not, you don't, do you want to put it on the internet? No. You're 52, I... why do you care? I don't really care, but I don't think I can remember either. Uh, <laughs> As in, I can't work out what age I was at that point. But you know who it was with? Oh, yes, I do, but I'm not going to say that. Do I know them? No. Oh. No, he wasn't somebody from school. How's that? Okay. Where did you meet him? Church. On, on holiday. <laughs> oh, it was a little, it was a little a holiday, holiday fling. romance. But well, but we, we, he was English, so we. Oh, you saw him when you got yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. Okay. See. Okay. Someone said, "Can a mother actually tell if a person is a good friend? Do you get a gut feeling?" Yeah, you do. So about your, have you ever had a bad feeling about any of your kids' friends? Yeah, okay. You definitely get a feeling about your children's friends. And you know, the dread I have is one day, one of you comes home and says, I'm getting married to this person, and, you don't like and I don't like them. I really, honestly, that is a, like, I'm worried about that already. Oh my goodness. Because I think, as a parent, you know, how do you tell your child that when they're sort of besotted in the moment? We had, uh, we went on holiday once. We went to Zanti, and there were, a couple there who were my age and that was really weird he it was his family holiday and he brought his girlfriend and his parents were so open about how much they hated his girlfriend i know that was really awkward and i know i've never felt like that about any boyfriends girlfriends or friends right this question is not entirely correct but i'm gonna ask anyway okay how do you feel about your daughter getting plastic surgery i've never actually had plastic surgery by the way. I don't like the idea of her getting plastic surgery, and she knows that. I'm very, I'm not completely anti-improvements. Um, the only thing I've had done is my lips. Yeah, she had her lips filled, and I didn't like that, did I? You didn't even notice. No, I don't like the idea that you have to change yourself. Right, because but you didn't, you didn't look at me and go, oh my god. They looked a bit bigger. Yeah. It just looks a bit fake to me, and I'm just not a fake well, people are going to say what they think, but I'm not, I don't like to think I'm a fake person, I don't like fake things. So I kind of think, why would you want to change any of what you've got? Because I think you're amazing, so I have no idea why you'd want to change any of that. So how do you feel about me getting a boob job? I don't like the idea of you getting a boob job because I think you've got a perfectly beautiful body. <laughs> are you going to try and stop me? I can't stop you because you're old enough to do what you want. <laughs> Thank you. I can merely advise you of the risks attached. Yes. Okay, do you ever judge your daughter's outfits, i.e. too short, too tight, etc? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do judge your outfits. Have you ever seen me go out in something and you'd be like, oh my god, I can't yeah. believe she went Really? Only when I worry that it might create an impression with people. Is that going to create an impression that you look like you're asking for too much attention from boys? <laughs> Maybe I am. Judge me how you like. That's what I think. As a mother, I want to protect you. I want you to go out with a big, you know, a sheet over you, and then <laughs> I'll be fine. But not often. Not often. Most of the time, you look great, and like, you look fab right now. I'm wearing tracksuits right now. I love when you wear tracksuits. Yeah. <laughs> Do you gossip with your friends about about your children, or obviously the friends that would know me? So like, yes. if if Joe and Ali and Coke. Yeah. Do you gossip with them about your kids? What do you mean by gossip? So do I talk about you? Yes. Well, yeah, you talk about us a lot. We always hear our names. Okay, yes, we talk about you. <laughs> well, we've got nothing else to talk about, right? No, that's not true. <laughs> so do when you, you say know gossip, what do you mean? Gossip, as in, like, however Dad found out that I kissed that boy in France. Uh, yeah, sometimes we could do that. <laughs> how, sort of... how did you know that? I just, I don't know how we know it. We just knew it. But how do you just know? But they, you discuss like our, do you discuss our lives? I would, no, not really, but she, but if, if one of us had a bit of gossip, we might share it. 
So that is called gossiping. Okay. <laughs> but we do it in a discreet way. We would discreet and we would say, no, we wouldn't say to lots of people, but typically we might tell one person. When was Gemma allowed to have a boyfriend and did you approve? Um, so I don't think there's a problem with you having had a boyfriend. Um, at any age? At any age. Well, I think I might have blinked if it was younger than 15. But what if Francesca had a boyfriend now? It would be cute. It would be cute. Yeah, you're right. She's 12, by the way. You never said, like, you're not allowed a boyfriend until you're 16 years no, old. No, 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 you're right. You're so right. So we, we never really had an age. No, we never really had an age. And I'm, and I'm quite chilled about that. I mean, I, well, I think I'm quite chilled about that. I just want to meet them first if, they're, if you're younger. I think that's the thing. Like, if, if you were 15 and wanted to go out with somebody, I'd be quite keen to know who they were before you went out with them. If you're 18 and you want to go out with somebody, clearly it's up to you. And along those lines, what age, we just we talked about this the other day, but what age would you let your children's boyfriend or girlfriend sleep Ooh. in their bed Ooh. in your house or oh, in bed under the same roof as you? This is a scary question. And I don't think, oh, I know for a fact, as a child, I was never, I never slept in the same bedroom as any of my boyfriends until I got engaged. What? Never. In my parents' house. Well, even though you'd bring you'd bring boyfriends back, yeah, but you wouldn't stay in the same room, not in my parents' house. So, so, so I, my experience, therefore, was basically you never that I never did it. So, hence, mm. it's a tricky one to judge for your own children. So, you start with the assumption that it's the same as it was for you, and then you quickly realise that's a rubbish assumption because it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of go, oh crikey! I think, you know, from my perspective, uh, <laughs> as old as possible, <laughs> as old as possible. No. So your parents never really have to cross that bridge? No. That's the thing, they didn't, right? Okay, well, you did. I know. I've crossed the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> when I first brought a boyfriend home, I was already 18. Wait, so it wasn't like I that's didn't true. bring a boyfriend home when I was like 16. I know, yeah. Which would have been, I'm you very, would have said I'm very no. grateful. I'm, yeah, I, I would have said no. I'd have been much firmer. Whereas because you were 18, when that was easier because then at that point you're an adult, so. <laughs> get treated like an adult. So if Ella brought a boyfriend home now, would she be allowed to sleep in the same bed as him? I would be trying not to allow that. <laughs> Why? She's 18. Oh, she's 18 now. <laughs> God, I've forgotten. I have two adult children. No, okay, so when when I was little, when we were younger, mm -hmm. because I, it hasn't happened since I can remember, have any of us ever walked in on you and Dad <sighs> having sex? You had three kids after me, so don't pretend you haven't. Yeah, good point. Um, no. 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 Never. Not to my recollection. Lord. Because you'd be, you'd be shocked how many of my friends have done that. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. You perhaps ought to ask your I siblings that obviously. question. I'm not aware of that. You've never seen a little face poke <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> I do dread that, because we leave our door open. <laughs> oh my god. I've never heard anything either. Yeah, you see? So now we have to ask the really old question. Oh man, no. <laughs> have you ever heard me? Uh, I don't know. I think I probably did, yes. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes, I think oh, I probably she... did. Get us out of here now! <laughs> think about it, it's worse for me than it is for you. Oh my god! It's like ah! that's my baby! Okay, I right. think we will end it on that lovely note. So thanks so much for filming with me, Mum. You're welcome, hon. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, don't forget... Go and down. Louise. Yes, thank you again for sponsoring the video. The link will be in the description. The 15% off site-wide is on right now as you're watching this video. It's very beautiful. And I'm actually a bit fussy with jewellery. Jen will tell you. <laughs> she is. Thanks, mommy. You're welcome, good. Love Mwah. you. See you later. See you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.